Um, hi, I wanted to talk about work holding a little bit. I was talking to a friend of mine named Brian last night, and he was looking at the vice on my on my uh, Walker Turner. And this is this is a Wilton. And I'm not as impressed with it as I could be. I, I've had nicer XY vices before. Um, this one's got a they got little dials on them, and they're in millimeters, and it's reasonably smooth. I mean, it's got a it's got a full gib system in it. Um, set screws, adjustable gibs, um, it's just got machined ways, they're not scraped or flaked or anything. They're certainly not chrome plated, but it's got X and Y movement both. And then you can lock your gib screws down, they don't have any quick locks or anything, so you just have to take an Allen wrench and lock your, lock your screws down to lock your table and get it sturdy. But, uh, and that helps you index one part if you've got one hole to drill. If you've got a lot of repeat, uh, repeatable work to do, um, I just finished uh, a quick round of some floor plates. These are just some 8x8 uh, floor plates and uh, just needed four or five eighths holes in each corner. And I did those on the drill press. And uh, after you get one marked, you can do a production run. And uh, I wanted to talk about work holding and, and indexing. Uh, these rods here, uh, this is shop made, and I drilled and tapped into this vise. Uh, I think that's a three quarter inch thread, but these are uh, that's a piece of three quarter inch hot roll round right there. And on the back side of this vise, I drilled and tapped another hole there, as you can see. So I can, I can put that rod on either side of the vise. And uh, these are a these are a piece that we have the apprentices make. It's a good practice piece. It's a one by one block uh, with a three quarter inch hole, 90 degrees apart. Run a slitting saw through it. Clearance over here, tapped over here for this little set screw. And these guys just uh, slip on here. And then you have another rod that slides on the other side that comes over and indexes your part. I'm gonna put the camera down and uh, get this set up and show you how to set up a vice stop and for repeatable work. Okay, and that uh, that stop is all set up and tightened down. And you've got an adjustable screw there to, to bump into your part as needed. <clears throat> and let's say you had to index it maybe one inch in from the edge on center. Center punch your first one, get it all measured. Get it set up, move your X and Y to your where you need to be. And let's say you needed to repeat. You need one inch from the edge here, but you also maybe need another one one inch from the edge back here. So you just take your work, flip it around, and into the stop, back in the clamp, drill your hole, no measuring, no muss, no fuss, and uh, just crank out your work. Now, if you need to be, if your hole distance is critical and maybe your parts aren't all the same size, uh, you couldn't do the flip trick like this. This is indexing holes from this edge and this edge. So if your parts vary, so is your hole spacing. So what you do in that case is you'd, <clears throat> you'd drill your first set of holes at maybe one inch in and then say you needed four inches to your next hole exactly. So you put these to the side after you get the first hole drilled. Then you move your table out and get indexed on your second hole and then make your second run and always index off the same edge. So uh, it depends on what's critical, whether you're edge to hole, edge to hole, or edge to hole, then hole to hole. Uh, it depends on what's critical with the part and uh, whether your parts, how how uniform your parts are to begin with. These, this is just a, a square block I stuck in there so to, to, as a demonstration, but uh, you get the idea. Um, the other trick you can do with these stops, I use these on everything. I use uh, this is just three quarter inch, uh, this is three quarter inch cold rolled here. Uh, that's a one inch block of. Uh, uh, actually, it's 4140 and been hardened, so it's got a nice spring um, spring back. When you release these screws, this, these spring open really nice. I use these on the bandsaw. I use them on the mill. I, I use them on anything where I need work stops. Um, but uh, that's a good way to index little parts. Uh, another thing you can do, they call it a button board. 
that goes on here. I, I don't have one here, but uh, there's a button board that would come out with a series of pegs. And after you drill your first hole, um, whatever size it is, so let's say it's a quarter inch, you drill a quarter inch hole, and you want your holes on one inch centers. You put your button board out, put your first peg at one inch, adjust it in and out. Now you take your work on the hole you just drilled, drop it on the on the peg, and you index your vise so you got your next hole at one inch. So you just keep moving the part down to the hole you just drilled, and you end up with a series of holes on one inch centers or 10 inch centers or however you set up your button board. But a button board is a simple device. Um, it uses the same type of clamp system, but it's a flat like a pallet uh, with a series of holes in it and you can always add holes if you need to but you've got the same type of clamp so you have the capability of, of sliding it in and out and getting it indexed and it would just come out flat like this um, and, and in the case of a long item you'd want to turn your work 90 degrees to bring it across the table sideways but uh, and that, that's a, a progressive indexing system non-CNC all right, so I just want to talk about work holding and indexing a little bit. And uh, Brian, don't uh, get too crazy with these Wilton vices. I'm not that impressed with this one. I think I gave about three and a quarter for this, and uh, it's got some known deficiencies. Uh, look into a palm green. They they make a, a they used to make a pretty nice table. All right, see ya.